With Lark getting closer to the twins, time was running out. So I started writing my story. Ever since they were kids, Sarah and Lark had dreamed about high school when everyone would see how much better life was and all get along. And the guys would finally realize the two quiet friends were the most interesting girls in school. Knock knock. Honey, can I come in? But by the end of sophomore year, they'd hurt each other far worse than anyone had ever hurt them. I'm coming in! Three, two, one. How did it all happen? It started with a story. I didn't hear you come in. I'll take it. That means your writer's block is unblocked. I haven't stopped typing in hours. This reminds me of how you and Lark used to write stories together in this room. Maybe it's actually helping to have her around again. Helping me is the last thing Lark is to do. But I won't let her stop me. Don't you remember all the summers you spent together here? Of course! You've always been inseparable. Is what happened last year bigger than that? Even if I wish it wasn't, I think it is, Grandma. What if she came to LA to see if you could patch things up? Think about it. Give her a second chance, Sarah. Friendship like yours don't just vanish overnight. My life would be a lot easier if this one would. Buzz buzz. So you deny a lark's housewarming? She said we definitely don't want to miss it. If you're right about Lark, I'll find out tonight. The twins are going to her party, so I have to go play defense. I just want to get a few more pages in first. If I finish in time, maybe I can talk to them before they leave. Then what will you do with the story? I just found out about this episode writing contest. If I win, tons of people will get to read it. Even if it ruins my life, I think it could help other people. The only thing is, the deadline's in three days. That's so exciting! I'll let you get to work then. Good luck tonight, hon. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Dang, Chicago, we didn't think you had it in you. We know you weren't all sugar and spice, but... What are you talking about? What's Lord been saying? Oh, not much. But she gave us some teasers. And we can't wait for the main attraction. It should be starting any minute. Why does it suddenly feel like I walked into a trap? Because you did walk into a trap. Oh, hey, boys. Great to see you. You too, Craig. We didn't hear back from you, so we thought you weren't coming. We were actually just about to get Gray off to bed. He's getting his wisdom teeth out in the morning. No big deal. I'm super chill about it. Cool as a cucumber. Then I'll get out of here, too. I should be writing, anyway. I'm working on something new, and I have contest deadline to meet. Really? As one of your biggest fanboys, I'm pumped. I can't wait to read it. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. Even though it might be the last time I ever see you. What's going on over there? Oh no, it looks like Lark has an audience. She might be a little less lovable here in LA, but back in Chicago, I knew a different Sarah. She was trouble from day one. Works telling Sarah stories from Chicago days. Maybe we can hang out for five more minutes. Yeah, I've got to hear about the OG Sarah. I can't let the twins hear her twisted version of what happened. Uh. Has she told you the story about hair remover yet? Hey Lark, how about you tell some of your own stories instead? Your hunky boyfriend, your sudden rise to popularity. It sounds like you two have some history. Yeah, what's up? Thought you were besties. 
it just so happens that some of our stories overlap and in some of them she's the villain so go ahead tell them if you want sarah hard to picture sarah as a villain i'm i'm sure she'll tell us when she's ready right sarah absolutely but now's not quite the time maybe we should get out of here then sarah wanna walk us out thanks for the invite that party wasn't quite my scene. You could sort of tell. So, what was all that? Something about hair remover? The truth is, Lark was involved in a pretty bad part of my life. But I moved here to try to get away from all that. So, you don't want to talk about it? Well, it's super embarrassing. Have you seen the videos we made when we were little kids? Please, embarrassing doesn't scare us. Okay, so Lark and I used to be really close, and also really nerdy. We wrote stories about the popular boys that we had crushes on. So you wrote some fanfic of your own? Can we read it? Or is it private? No. I mean, we're just messing around. It was just for the two of us. Sort of like our videos used to be. Yeah, I mean, before Lark decided to make them public. She sold your stories? No, she got in with the popular kids by giving them my stories. So I looked like a loser freak, and she was the funny cool girl who exposed me. That's like the opposite of funny and cool. Yeah, but you know how high school works. That's kind of what we were dealing with in Jersey. And you know how we have that pack? It really works. Trust us. So, no more bullies, no more work. I'm not sure it's that simple. Maybe it can be. Just think. The world loves you, and we love you, so who needs her? Wait, did Grayson just say they loved me? Wait, did Grayson just... like both of them? Gray's right. But well, let's figure out a game plan. Tomorrow. We need to get him to bed. His surgery is early and I think he's getting a little anxious about it. What? Me? Anxious? Never. But for some reason my stomach's kind of full of butterflies. Hey, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, you should come with us. It would be nice to have someone other than Ethan to hold my hand. I'd love to. Wait, actually, what if that was your next video? We shoot before and after Grayson goes under. But what if I say something crazy? Exactly. It's brilliant. See, Sarah, what would we do without you? I'm afraid I might find out soon. The next day at the dentist's office. Alright, Gray, it's almost time. Any last words before you go under the knife? <laughs> last words? I mean, you know, any last words before you're unconscious. I'm pretty sure you'll survive. Pretty sure? Is there anything you don't want us to ask you about while you're loopy? Just don't ask me about girls. I have way too much on my mind. I know I'll say something embarrassing. We'll do our best to remember not to ask you about girls, bro. Grayson Dolan, you're up! So we're definitely going to ask him about girls, right? Definitely. Let's ask him who he has a crush on. Hmm, wonder who that is. That's a good place to start. I figured he would be a little loopy, but this is gold. So, how are you feeling after that surgery, bro? Ethan, Sarah, guys, I just want to bump. You want to bump? I just want to bump, you know, bump it in the car. So, Gray, what else is on your mind? Guys? Why am I single? I thought you didn't want to talk about girls, dude. But why don't I have a girlfriend? Okay, why do you think? Maybe they think I'm not good enough. Maybe they're too busy with their own stuff. Interesting, any more thoughts on that? It's like you, Sarah. Did you know you're basically my dream girl? Your dream girl? Courage him. Care to elaborate on that, Gray? You're beautiful and creative and talented and nice. 
You're kind of perfect, Sarah. Whoa, Gray, are you sure you wouldn't be saying this right now? You did say you don't want to talk about girls. Hmm. Let's hear Grayson out. You're like the prettiest and coolest girl me ever met. Me ever met, huh? I is me, Ethan. I is me. I think it's time we get you to bed, Gray. Not yet. I need a lullaby. A what? A sing song for night night. Oh, right, that. Which sting song do you want? Twinkle, twinkle. I'm not singing that, dude. You're on your own. What about you, Sarah? I'll sing it. Sure, I'll sing for you, Grayson. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. No, no, that's not how it goes. You have to sing it the right way. Dream girl, dream girl, you're so cute. Especially in your birthday suit. Whoa, um, wow, dude. I didn't write the song. It's a classic. He's just a little loopy from the surgery. I don't think he means to be spilling his guts about his dream girl right now. We're usually pretty private about our crushes, but when we get around you, I don't know what it is, but we just say whatever we're thinking, and it's kind of our minds because we were talking about you earlier. Let the moment pass. But what if I don't hear what I want to hear? I'll wait for another chance. I'm out. Ethan, try not to make me look too bad when you're editing. I can't imagine how I could edit this one to make Ray look cool. Yeah, you really went for it. Fans would love it. Thanks for another brilliant idea. Thanks for another unforgettable day. Any chance you want to stick around while I edit this thing? I could use the company. Of course! You have to keep in his yoga pose in the dentist chair. That part's too good. Okay, now I just have to loop the music and it'll be done. Man, he was wild. He said some crazy stuff today, huh? He did, but he was on point about some of it. Like what? Remember when he said you're the prettiest and coolest girl me ever met? I remember something along those lines. Well, same. I kinda think you're both a little loopy today. Or maybe we're both finally unlooped. It sounds like he's telling me Grayson likes me. And that he likes me! If I'm the luckiest girl in the world and they both like me, how will I ever choose between them? <laughs>